I've had occasion to represent Massachusetts residents who've been hurt out of state and out of state residents who've been hurt in Massachusetts. Perhaps the second scenario uh, is easier to deal with because if the case requires litigation, you bring the case in a Massachusetts court involving that out of state person. You could choose to do it in a federal court because of diversity of citizenship, or you could choose to bring the personal injury action in state court. In my prior blogs, I've discussed the wisdom of probably bringing a case that has diversity and therefore would permit you to go in federal court, but the wisdom of bringing it in state court. Let me talk about the first scenario, and that is the Massachusetts resident who is injured out of state. In that instance, I will represent the Massachusetts resident and will, of course, work with the client who lives here, work with his or her doctors, work with his or her other treating personnel, just as I would if it were an in-state accident. But there is, to be candid, uh, a wrinkle. And that is, if the case has to go into suit, almost always it will have to go into suit in the state in which the accident was sustained. I've had exceptions where, for example, the tortfeasor, the person at fault, was also a Massachusetts resident, as well as my client. And in that instance, you can bring the case in Massachusetts. But let's assume it was an accident on property or an accident against a Pennsylvania resident with no ties to Massachusetts. Generally, and you can never say with 100% certainty, but generally I am describing a scenario where a lawsuit would have to be brought, brought, if at all, in that state where the person was injured. That's where the concern and earnestness that your attorney has for you as client comes into play. Because what I tell my client is, if this case must go into suit, I will find an attorney in that out of state with whom I will work at no additional cost to you. Rather, the fee will be reduced on my end by the amount that is paid that out of state attorney. And that is a very necessary weapon to be able to convey to that out of state insurance company that you can do that, that you will pursue the case fully in another court, in another state, even though your client lives in Massachusetts. And the only way to do that in a realistic way is to affiliate with someone who is familiar with the legal culture, the rules of civil procedure, the rules of evidence of the state in which the case will be brought. Bringing a lawsuit is a weapon, and it is a weapon that you don't want to lose. And you lose it if your Massachusetts attorney for your out-of-state accident is disinclined to affiliate with another attorney. Make sure you have an attorney in Massachusetts who is willing to put his money where his mouth is, and that is reduce his fee by the amount an in-state attorney, for example, an Ohio accident, an Ohio attorney will charge. You would pay the same, typically, one-third fee, not one-third plus one-third, but it is the best way that you can be represented. Thank you.